Hey everybody, it's me, William, aka CC Fan77 here on YouTube. Sorry folks, I've actually been pretty busy doing some things like class and stuff to do videos because either that or I was running low on material, so but I finally came up with something yesterday. Sorry, um just got was back from spaghetti dinner and boy, I'm braced up, so might be a little sluggish, so try and bear with me, okay? Okay, so anyway, she's doing another game review this week, and I'm reviewing the new game, Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond. It's from the, for the Nintendo Wii. It's, of course, from Nintendo and the Pokemon Company, developed by Creatures, Inc. Said you, this time you go beyond the Poke Park, but you're in a world of, world of dreams collide. Actually, both... Actually, a special mystery about this, because it seems that Pokemon, Mon from the Poke Park, across all f like four or areas, the I believe there the Cove area, the Arbor area, the Crag area, and the Tech area are all disappearing, appearing to this Wish Park, which is which in which in legend say that what used to be part Poke Park, but then eventually split. For some reason, how that how that a dark vortex has appeared over it, and so I think that stopped the evil leader of the Wish Park is Pikachu from the first game, and this time, um, he'll be joined by the three starters of the black and white games, Snivy, Tepig, and Oshawott, but they won't be joining him in that order. Order, or actually, give you a hint. The first Pokemon you get will be Oshawott. Oshawott. And each uh, Pokemon has a specific abilities. Of course, no Oshawott can swim. But he can't swim underwater. He just swims above water like Ash's Oshawott first started when he first got him. him. And also, oh, Pokemon Tepig can can use a special charge to, charge to destroy rocks and obstacles. And Snivy can... Get a little boost with a, like a kind of a double jump like thing using her kind of like a leaf tornado like thing. And they, of course, on the same moves, they have a charge attack, which is for Pikachu Thunderbolt, Oshawa Water Gun, Tepic Blink Brower, and Snivy Leap Storm. Then they have a Shake the Weirmo attack for Pikachu it's Iron Tail, Oshawa Razor Shell, Tepic Heat Crash, and Snivy Leaf Tornado. And th and they also have a dash. All have dash attacks. Also a dash combo. After you attack, a attack an opponent, mainly used for like battle. Cause then you also use certain attacks. Like tail, you use razor shell. Tepic keeps using flames, and Snivy uses her vine whip. Yep, just like in the, just like in the Pokemon series, the Snivy in this game is a girl. Well, so. I gotta say, I won't give away many details, but I, hey, this game is pretty solid. Solid, solid, unlike what Nintendo Power say. They gave it a 5.5 out of 10. And, but I gotta disagree. This game is very good. I actually wish, though, they could have wished, like, like, instead of putting all the attacks in one button, that's with just one button. Attack with just two motions, just like the one button and the shaking the Wii remote. It was a lot easier in the original game when you can just have the charged attack like Pikachu did with Thunderbolt by holding down the A button. Button. If they could have kept that motion around instead of like put changing it from the A button to the one button using because you could have like just dashed instead of using thun and using the charge attack. Right, that's what I'm just saying. The control things were Things are kind of mixed up, but the gameplay was very solid. Gameplay was very solid. A lot more characters this time, blunt from the black and white games, but still plenty of other characters from the other three series, from the whole bunch of other series. Piplup from the first game is still around. He kind of has a key point in this game. And so do the legendary Pokemon of the game. Game. Rush Ram and Zekron there trying to warn Pikachu of the apocalypse. And also there in the there, so one of the areas is Victini, the victory Pokemon. It's out in one of the area. Yes. And it's a very interesting game. 
So I'm actually, because the controls kind of messed me up a little bit, but I still think it's a pretty good game. So I'm giving Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond four tokens out of five. So I say it's a nice game. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And now before I leave, I'll actually give you like a sneak preview of what's coming up later on in the week here on WSN. This Thursday, I'll be doing a movie review of The Lorax. Lorax, Lorax, the Dr. Seuss movie that just came out last week, this weekend. I couldn't do it this weekend because I was kind of busy with other things. Things like getting this Pokemon game. And I'll be doing it on Thursday because that's like the only day I can seem to be free to do it. And next Sunday, which is the 11th, I will be doing a special welcome video for the teams who will be coming here to Pittsburgh for the NCAA tournament. I'll be pretty much posting it after all the or all the teams have been announced and where they're coming from on from the selection special that will be on CBS next week. So be sure to stay tuned to both the selection special and here at WSN to see which teams will be coming here to Pittsburgh. And if you're not here and you have a team that's coming, have a spot that's coming up, be sure to watch it to see who you'll be seeing in, in your neck of the woods. So, so until then, be sure to look out for those couple of videos in the next week, upcoming week. Until then, this is William Schmidt saying, see you later. Bye-bye.